Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. So today we are making Ladybug from the Miraculous Ladybug. So this is actually going to be my second time. The first time I made Ladybug was using a Disney fairy doll. And this time I'm going to be using Applejack from the Equestria Girl Minis. So we're going to be using Applejack's head, but we're going to be using Fluttershy's body. And this is because Fluttershy's outfit is not as bulky as Applejack's. And since Ladybug wears a bodysuit, this is a little bit better. Starting with Applejack's head, we're going to take off her ponytail. And also the hair on the side of her face. Now we're going to take a lump of clay and cut it in half. And shape it into her pigtails, making a little bit pointy on one end. And while we're working on the clay, we're also going to make her yo-yo. While the clay is drying, let's start on her face. I'm going to start first by painting the flesh tone on her face. And we're going to paint around the area where her mask is going to be. Next, we're going to outline her mask with red. I also reshaped her eyes so they're a little bit smaller so that there's room for the dots on her mask. And fill it in. Then we're going to color her eyes blue. And finally, we're going to add the black dots on her mask. And give her light pink lips and some teeth. Now we're ready to paint her hair. So the first layer is going to be a dark blue. And on the second layer, I'm going to add a blue and silver mix to give it that shine. For her body, we're going to trim down her shirt a little bit so it's a little bit smoother. And we're going to smooth down her body with a little bit of clay. Now we can paint it. So we're going to paint it bright red. And add the black polka dots. And we'll put the dots on her yo-yo too. Alright everyone, so here is my miraculous ladybug. She is done and I think she looks pretty pretty cool. She looks like she's trying to hunt down some bad guys. So here is my other ladybug. <laughs> it looks so different. So this one was using the Disney fairies and um, she looks a little bit closer to the ladybug in the show because she is uh, wearing a bodysuit. But I think the Equestria Girl mini version is actually really cute too. So I really like the way her hair turned out. I made these uh, a little bit longer so that you can see it and also because her head is a little bit bigger too. So here is a close up of her face. I really like the way her mask turned out. I think the color is just so gorgeous. And look at that hair. So on the second coat I did use a dark blue mixed with some silver. And so that gave it this uh, this shine that you're seeing here. So I think it looks kind of cool the way it's mixed. Otherwise, the first coat was coming out a little bit flat. And of course, we have to bring in Adrian who is in love with Ladybug. He has no idea who she is and I think it's going to stay that way for quite a while. What do you guys think? So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Ladybug. 
And if you guys like my Miraculous Ladybug customs, check out the other ones I made of the Miraculous Ladybug villains, including Pinebreaker, Stormy Weather, Anti-Bug, and many others. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a custom doll from Applejack here from the Equestria Girls Mini. We're going to be making Marinette from Miraculous Ladybug. So Marinette is the main character in Miraculous Ladybug. She has a special power that turns her into Ladybug. So we're going to be using Applejack's head, but we're going to swap her body out for Rarity's body. And this is because Rarity's wearing a jacket that is very similar to Marinette's. Alright, let's get started! So the first thing we're going to do is take off Applejack's ponytail. Then using some air dry clay, we're going to make two little pigtails for Marinette. And so now we've attached the two pigtails to the back. And I'm going to take off one of the side fringes here. There's two on Applejack and that's too many, so I'm going to take one off. I'm going to do this with an X-Acto knife, just kind of cut it. And clean off the glue. Now we're going to paint Marinette's face a flesh tone. And then color her eyes blue. And then give Marinette some cute lashes. And eyebrows too. And then some white for her teeth and pink for her lips. Now we're gonna paint Marinette's hair dark blue. For Marinette's body, we're going to paint her shirt white. And we're also going to paint over her pants too to cover up the black. Next, we're going to use a flesh tone and paint her neck, her hands, and part of her leg. Now using black, we're going to paint Marinette's jacket. We're going to paint her pants a dark pink. and paint her shoes a light pink. Alright everyone, so here's my finished Marinette. What do you guys think? Do you guys like her? So I think her hair turned out really cute. Um, she has these two little pigtails in the back with red ribbon. And um, up here in the front, her face is actually pretty clean. She has um, blue eyes, um, some eyelashes, eyebrow, and a pink smile. And her outfit is super cute. So she has a white shirt with some of these um, flower details on it, a black jacket, a dark pink pants, um, actually it's capri pants, and pink shoes. Alright, so let me bring out my Adrian doll. Don't they look cute together? <laughs> I think they make quite the pair. So if you guys like my Miraculous Ladybug customs, make sure to check out my video for Adrian, also Cat Noir and Ladybug, and also some of the other villains too. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making a My Little Pony Equestria Girls Mini Custom. And we're going to be making Cat Noir from the Miraculous Ladybug. So I made Cat Noir before using Tinkerbell from the Disney Fairies. This time I'm going to be using the My Little Pony Equestria Girls Mini. 
So Cat Noir is one of the superheroes in Miraculous Ladybug and he's one of my favorites. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the head of Applejack here and for the body, I'll be using Flash Sentry's body. We will need to remove Applejack's ponytail and also the side uh, fringes here to make Cat Noir. After that, we're going to paint Cat Noir's face a flesh color. For Cat Noir's hair, I made a mixture of yellow, gold, and brown. I'm going to paint this all over. Once that's done, we're going to draw in his eyes. So Cat Noir has green cat-like eyes. So we're going to start with the green first. Then we're going to paint in Cat Noir's mask. Then with a different green, we're going to color in the irises. Then with the black, we're going to make cat pupils. I'm going to dot it with the white. We're going to paint his lips a darker shade than his current skin tone and give him some teeth. And finally, we're going to paint Cat Noir's ears black. For Cat Noir's body, I'm going to paint it completely black. So this is really, really easy. Then taking a piece of clay, we're going to be making Cat Noir's tail. And so this is actually kind of flat. It looks like a belt, but it works like a tail. And once it's dry, we'll also paint it black. Alright everyone, so here is my Cat Noir from the Miraculous Ladybug. And take a look at his outfit. So his outfit is completely black and he has his really cool tail here. So I think it's kind of cool how it has that little curve around there. He is also holding his weapon. So up here I also painted his ring and this time since he has transformed, it is green. So here's an up close look of his face and I think his eyes look super cool. They're really really big but I think um, they really fit his face pretty well. And really like his hair too. I didn't make it too yellow. I really like the shade that his hair turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. And his ears look so cool in here. So here is Adrian which I made before in a different video. And here is Cat Noir. So I really like the way um, they look the same but different. They have the same green eyes. Their hair is slightly different. This one I custom made his uh, Adrian's hair. And for Cat Noir, I actually use Applejack's hair. So let me know down below in the comment section which one do you like better? Do you like Adrian or do you like my Cat Noir? If you guys like my Miraculous Ladybug customs, make sure to check out my other videos too. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. So today we have Flash Sentry here. So yes, we're going to be doing a custom that is a boy. So I'm going to be doing Adrian from Miraculous Ladybug. And for those of you who watch Miraculous Ladybug, you know that Adrian is Cat Noir. So um, I'm a huge fan of Cat Noir and Adrian and I have been kind of nervous about doing a custom of him because I didn't want to mess it up. But you never know until you try. So I'm going to try to make Adrian today and hopefully he turns out really good. Alright, let's get started. 
So we're going to start with the head. I'm going to remove the hair because uh, this hairstyle is completely different from Adrian's. Alright, so the hair is finally off. It took forever and my hands hurt from taking it off. But we have Adrian's head. And now with some air dry clay, I'm going to make his hair. So I'm going to start with the base layer of hair. So this is just going to be kind of a smooth round ball of hair around his head. And then I'm going to add the rest of his hair in pieces. So I'm going to add the top bangs, the side bangs, and also a strip of hair in the back. And then I'm going to draw some lines to separate out the pieces. Now we're going to work on his face. So I'm actually not going to change his face too much. His skin tone is already appropriate for Adrian. So what I'm going to do is use some acetone and take off his eyebrows. Now we're going to paint the hair. So I'm going to start with the base layer that is more uh, taupe color. and then add the blonde on top. And then finish with some additional yellow highlights. We're going to add his eyebrows back in with some brown. Now for the outfit. He has a pretty simple outfit. He has a black t-shirt with a white shirt over it. And then he wears jeans and, and a pair of orange shoes. We're going to start with his white outer shirt. And then paint his black t-shirt. And now we're going to paint his jeans. We're also going to paint the three lines on his shirt, yellow, green, and blue. And then paint his shoes, white and orange. Alright everyone, so here is my Adrian. What do you guys think? So I really like his outfit. His outfit is pretty simple with the white shirt and the blue jeans and um, the orange shoes. And um, his face is pretty simple. I kept the skin tone and um, made his eyes green and added eyebrows. But what I did do was redid the entire hair so that was pretty complicated it was actually really hard i've never done boys hair before so i gave him some uh, hair here in the back and um a few pieces up here in the front for that side swept uh super casual look so he looks really cool and of course adrian has to have his miraculous on so i did put the ring on his hand it is a black ring with um with a green spot on it for the little paw print so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Adrian. And if you guys like this video, make sure to check out my other Miraculous Ladybug customs. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!